I always say that China is such a magical place where you can buy everything you need, plus the things that you don't need at all. Cheap, fast, convenient, and believe it or not, usually with at least decent quality. Well, you get what you pay, and if you pay cheap, you get rather a crappy thing. But if you buy something slightly more expensive, there is a pretty good chance you will get something that is actually good. Unless, of course, you stumble upon a super awesome promotion that wants you to buy something for a, at least extremely good price. Like, take a look at those two teeny tiny development boards I got from AliExpress. They are called ESP32 C3 Super Mini, and look how small and cute they are. And yet, though they are super tiny and cheap, they can be also a pretty useful, because like every other ESP32, they have Wi-Fi, they have Bluetooth and 16 or 22, depending really on the version, GPIO pins. Come on, do-it-yourself paradise. Unless, well, no, not really. Those two boards from the outside look absolutely the same. The same form factor, the same component placement, almost the same stencil, and the main MCU over here, the ESP32 C3, look the same. However, looks can be pretty deceiving, because one of those is amazing, and second one is, well, absolute crap. What's the difference? They used microcontroller. One of the reasons that ESP32 can be so cheap is that some of the versions of them come without a flash memory. No flash memory, cheaper to manufacture, and the versions with and without flash memory from the outside look absolutely the same. Same form factor, same layout, just like if you don't know what you are looking for, you have no chance of not getting screwed. But ESP32 C3 come in the few versions, exactly five. There is ESP32 C3, FN4, FH4, FH4AZ, and FH4X. And guess what? The one with the shortest name without F, F is for flash, does not have any flash installed. And like I mentioned, if you do not really know what to look for, you have no chance of spotting the, well, basically useless ESP32 C3 before getting it. Funny fact, some of the sellers on AliExpress are even blurring or just making unreadable the text on the MCU itself. So you have no chance just by looking at the pictures on AliExpress or other platform to figure out what you are really buying. Is it C3, useless, or C3, FH4, or FN4, or whatever. Some of the sellers might say in the description that this is FN4 or FH4 equipped with 4 megabits of flash. Great, but at the same time, if they blurred the markings on the chipset, then should I trust their description or should I not trust based on the fact that the markings on the pictures in the offering are blurred? Like, what the hell we are even doing over here? So how to protect yourself from buying basically useless C3 version without building flash? Okay, it's not really 100% useless, because if you want to, you can connect external flash via the SPI bus and have something like a Frankenstein of the development board. But like, no, no, no. If I'm paying like three bucks, I'm paying three bucks for the full SP32 C3, and I don't want to pay another few bucks and actual manual labor to make it work. There are a few things you can do. One, very carefully read the description. Is the description of the offering saying that this is ESP32 C3 FN4 or FH4? That it explicitly states it's the 4 megabit flash version. And if the images on the offering are blurred, somewhere around the, in the MCU itself, the ESP32 chipset, then they might be hiding something from you. And if they are hiding something for you, don't bother. It's just not worth it. So one more time, 
This one, pretty awesome. This one, basically useless. Here's the next video you should watch. This was the Hacker University. Thank you very much for watching and, like always, happy hacking!